Welcome everybody, I'm Neil Cavuto, and here is how bad all of this fear-mongering is getting. They're talking about slashing funds from a government agency that doesn't even exist. It's called, or at least it was called, the National Drug Intelligence Center. And the Office of Management and Budget claims it's in for $2 million slashing. There's only one teeny-weeny problem. The center closed back in June. And by the way, if any of these cuts, real or imagined, are so scary, then why is it looking like the House and Senate, well, they're going to be off Friday, just as these cuts are about to kick in to Kate Obachain, who's not buying any of this doom and gloom talk. Um, now they're just making stuff up. So this, yeah. this scares me. If it were so bad as well, Neil, why did the president suggest it in the first place? Why did he say he was not going to compromise on it? Um, I mean, I think that obviously the White House has lost total credibility by suggesting that they were going to be cutting $2 million from an agency that no longer exists. But then, of course, Secretary Chu sounded the real alarm bell saying that a thousand homes would not be weatherized by the federal government if this went through. But, if, but you know, really... if you were to add it all up, Kate, I mean, right. all the things that they threatened, would, you'd be well north of that $85 billion. I figure. think we're you looking at around... a quarter, uh, <laughs> a quarter of the national budget probably well, at that point. Well, that's just it. And, and I think people need to, to just step back right. and whatever their angst, I mean, understand that a little hyperbole is going on here and a lot of exaggerating is going on here and a lot, frankly, of lying is going on here. Now, 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 now fear can, can, can motivate angry voters to do one thing or another, but but it, it doesn't mean they're being motivated by what's accurate. So what is the fallout from all of just the anger talk? Well, I think the fallout is that it's very effective. This is what the president does. This is the technique and the strategy that he has perfected. He motivated voters to go to the polls, particularly women, saying that he, or Republicans were shocking and dangerous when it comes to women health care. No facts to back it up, Neil. This is scaremongering at its height. But the hope is that the scales will come off and that people will realize they're being taken for fools. But it, that's only if the Republicans can really get across the fact that this is a 1.2 percent cut in the federal budget, somewhere between 1.2 and 2.4. This is not gargantuan. The world will not come to an end. But the point here is cuts have to start being made if we're not going to head towards genuine bankruptcy. You know, just a couple months ago, Neil, the president said that the economy was doing fine and that he was able to make um, tax increases on the job creators. Now, he says, the economy is teetering on the brink of collapse. And if these 1.2 percent cuts go through, we will collapse. So there's a lot of contradictions going on Very here that the American people need to start waking up and realizing they are being taken for fools. The scaremongering is just a continuation of the Obama campaign. And it's time to wake up to the reality that government has expanded exponentially and that it's right. time to start looking at some reasonable rest restraint. You're right, Kate. You're right. Kate, thank you very, very much. Thank you.